All right, welcome, welcome. It is I, the professor, and what we have here is a lightweight unboxing. <clears throat> if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share. Welcome to the channel. If you know me by now, you know that I'm all about books and reading. So I have this unboxing segment. Uh, I like to say that it's not about uh, like book porn. I'm not buying books just to buy them. I have a, a incredible library and um, I add to my library usually based on what I'm studying or what I plan to study. Sometimes I get books. Um, sometimes I get a book that uh, I've been wanting for a while. Maybe I've read it already in PDF and I just want a physical copy. Other times you'll find books that are somewhat rare and while I'm browsing, I'll see it's at a reasonable price and I get it. So the first one we have here, of course, anybody that knows this is an Amazon package. Let's open this thing up. And let's see. Oh, let me give you some backstory on these books that I've been getting lately for the last couple of weeks. Um, I use my credit card to pay most of my bills. And um, I paid no attention to the smoke, to the fine print, which I should be, but I don't. But what I realized was I was on Amazon and just browsing, wishing, window shopping, kicking some tires. And I clicked on a book and I, I don't know what made me. I threw it in my cart knowing that I wasn't going to get it. I couldn't afford it. But when I threw it in my cart and then I went to look at it in my cart, told me that the price would be free because I had these uh, these rewards from using my car. So I was just like, what? So I bought another book, then another book, then another book. And um, eventually I did a little more clicking around and I saw how much I had. So I spent it on books. So this first one is, oh, okay, okay, okay. This first one, let me see how it's kind of blurry because of my light. Let's see if I tilt this down a little bit. Oh, man, it sucks. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, man, it sucks. Okay. The Alchemical Keys to Masonic Ritual by Timothy Hogan. I hate that the light is so bright. That's the only light I have in the living room. Hmm. Maybe if I do this, let me go to a uh, virtual... Now that won't help. All right, well, I told you the title. Uh, I think when I tilt it sideways, you can see it. Let's see if I can get it again. There we go. The Alchemical Keys to Masonic Ritual by Timothy Hogan. So I got this because I am a Mason, Prince Hall Mason, and I'm always looking for uh, new perspectives and deeper insights. So that's why I got this book. And Timothy Hogan's a pretty good author. I have a couple more of his books. Let me get rid of this plastic door back there. Now this one, again, another Amazon. I have no idea what it is. Down to the good for What I tried to do when I saw that I had these uh, points, I tried to get some of the more expensive books that I couldn't afford or just ones that I've been wanting for a while. And so that's what I more or less did. Oh, okay. This is The Sacred Magic of the Kabbalah, The Science of Divine Names by Manly P. Hall. Um, again, if you know me, if you've been on my channel, you'll know that um, I'm all about Kabbalah. So, and then Manly P. Hall is such an awesome author. Uh, you know what? Let's go back because I'm tripping. I'm going to walk you through this Timothy Hogan book. The Timothy Hogan book again, so I can get you with the title. Okay, there we go. Uh, that sucks. I guess it's because it's the white on bright. I'll just read you out of the uh, the table of contents from the uh, Alchemical Keys to Masonic Ritual. I got some good images. He always has some good images at the front of his books. And uh, no table of contents, it looks like. So, well. Uh, all right, but well, let me go to the next one. The uh, 
Sacred Magic of the Kabbalah, The Secret, The Science of Divine Names, Melanie P. Hall. And I'm going to go through his table of contents, see what he got going on. Melanie P. Hall is a, is a dope author. He was very learned. And um, I feel like I've recently, after years of listening to his lectures and reading his different books, I finally understood one of the keys to reading Manny P. Hall is uh, <clears throat> while he speaks plainly, he speaks on different levels. So you have to kind of read between the lines. Anything he mentions as a sidebar, you research it. Again, there's no table of contents in this one either. So let's move on. The next one that was in that package because it was indeed a two banger. And again, it's too bright. Oh, there we go. Magical use of thought forms. I only got this book. Well, I won't say only because I am into using thought forms and things like that. Is because someone who I uh, listen to a lot and follow, Travis Magus, he had recommended this book. So I'm definitely going to dive in. And this book is uh, Magical Use of Thought Forms, A Proven System of Mental and Spiritual Empowerment by Dolores Ashcroft, now Wiki, and J.H. Brennan. So this does have a table of contents, so I'll read some of the <clears throat> chapters. Part one, The Nature of Reality, Wolfman, Anomalies. Chapter one, Wolfman. Chapter two, Anomalies. Chapter three, Evocation. Chapter four, Science of Maya. Uh, illusion. Then chapter five is mathematics of reality. Chapter six, thoughts detected. Seven, the mysterious astral. Chapter eight, astral cyper cyberspace. Uh, part two, the astral plane, the triangle of causation. And chapter nine, <clears throat> chapter 10, the location of occult power. Uh, chapter 11, the art of observation. Chapter 12, the composition of astral matter, chapter 13, the art of observation, chapter 14, the training of the troubadour. There's also actually a part three, which is building a cold forms, chapter 15, the memory palace. Oh, that's got to be good. I need that. <clears throat> the memory palace, I believe it was Aristotle or Plato, one of those dudes created the memory palace. It's a way to, uh, it's a way to, Organize your thoughts so that you don't have to memorize things, think that you will recall it at will. Uh, the Memory Palace, Chapter 16, Chapter 17, Using Your Palace, A Monkey Lie. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good book. Uh, chapter 19, Curses and Familiars. Chapter 20, Homun Homunculi, Part 2, part and Dismissing the Thought. So, we went through three so far, and I got a couple more, I believe. Here is another. Let's see that one off the Amazon packaging. Now, Amazon isn't the only place to get your books. <clears throat> ABE.com, thriftbooks.com. There's a lot of good places to get books that are a lot cheaper. Thriftbooks.com, and I utilize them all. I just recently bought a book off of uh, ABE.com. Uh, that I saw on Amazon for a ridiculous price and got it for the low low off of ABE.com. Oh, okay. This is um, another one. Yoga Tatwa Upanishad. And I forget why I got this book. But um, I do know that <clears throat> also what I've been doing, I have a list on Amazon, my, my wish list. And so Partly what I did when I saw I had the funds to get books, I started knocking books off my wish list, and this was in there. So I'm gonna add it to my Hindu section, and I'm sure it'll come in handy. The reason why it hit me. And what is this one? Okay, another Masonic book. <clears throat> and this is Geometry. The Floor of the Masonic Lodge by H. P. H. Bromwell. This is a book I've been wanting. And you know what? As soon as I bought it, a friend of mine told me, you're going to be mad because most of the images in there are faded. And it is, the diagrams. But 
science is still there, so I'll work with it. I was hoping to have some good visuals, and I'll read you the table of contents from this demonstration. Oh, another book. But I see a theme here. Uh, Masonic books appear to not have table of contents. All right. Well, this is my lightweight unboxing. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share. Um, there'll definitely be more. I think I got about three or four more books coming. But I'm also about to do, it's uh, 222 out here in California. But what I'm about to do is, um, and it's raining outside. But what I'm about to do is I'm going to dive into the Tarot correspondence study group that I've been doing. And I'm going to log off of here, get everything together, and get right to it. So again, thank you. Appreciate you. Hopefully you've seen something that caught your interest. Uh, anything you want to know, question about a certain book, or hit me up in the comments. I definitely respond. Even if you're kind of negative and you don't like Masons or whatever, it's all good. Uh, I accept all feedback. I'm the eternal student. Matter of fact, that should be my name, not the professor, the eternal student. But again, thank you for sharing these moments with me. And I'm about to log out and then log right back in and get to this Tarot correspondences. <laughs>